Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Now you probably wonder why I'm sitting here with a towel around me and stuff, clips in my hair and white stuff in my hair. Well, I decided to come on real quick and show you guys my, this different way I'm trying with my hair. I've been watching a lot of videos and um, about wash and goes. And so I'm trying to... Um, work with my hair in a way that I've never worked with my loose hair before. Usually when I've been natural, I mostly twist. I get tired of that. I put it up in uh, kinky twist braids. Then I get tired of that and I lock it. Then I cut it. And, you know, anyway, so this is something actually really new for me working with my natural uh, loose hair. So um, skip forward. This is what I did. I got in the shower and I just saturated my hair and I've been using like I said the Suave Naturals um, I believe it's lavender conditioner I really love how that makes my hair work um, they say you are either a VO5 girl or a Suave girl and I'm a Suave girl that just makes my hair feel wonderful so I got in saturated and pulled it through like that just you know and let it sit in my hair, finger detangled, um, you know, did the shower thing, rinsed off, and then um, rinsed it out my hair. And then I put more in and left it in as a leave-in. My hair feels so soft. After that, I... What did I do after that? Oh, wait. Okay. After that, I put um, my Turby Twist on and dried my hair. I'm laughing because my daughter's right here. I put my Turby Twist on and let, got most of the um, water out of my hair. Okay. And then I... Um, what did I do after that? Then I have a, I just quickly mixed up some shea butter. Because I never really used just raw shea butter in my hair. And I was like, well, let me try it. So I mixed up, um, I don't know, maybe just a couple ounces of shea butter. Um, just a dash of apricot uh, kernel oil and a dash of jojoba oil. And I only put those oils in there to kind of help it when I'm mixing it up, okay? To make it softer. And so, um, hey, don't do that. And so, afterwards, I, be careful, I mixed that up, made it, whipped it real nice, put like some dream sickle fragrance in there. I just love it. So, after that, I put the um, shea butter mixture directly on my hair. And I, again, just smoothed it like that concentrated on the ends remember I have the swab underneath there as well so I put the shea butter on top and just smoothed it and smoothed it and I really tried to not to disturb the curl pop pattern as much as I could and then on that I put just pure aloe vera gel and this is what I got I don't know if you guys can see that I'm using my webcam because my camera battery is dead can you see that so this is what I ended up with. These clips are in there to kind of, I want it to dry just a little bit up in the front. I don't know. I hope this ain't looking goofy. This is best I can do. I can't rotate all the way around. I ain't a mannequin. <laughs> can you see? Wait. No, wait. There you go. How's that look? Okay. So I will be back. And show you guys, see? Oh, and then I shake. I shook. That's how I got it to, you know, do all that. I just shook, shook, shook. I think I just shook too fast. Anyway, um, I'll be back to show you guys how that worked. Thanks.